everybody. We are officially into one week of my no slash low buy month of June. I'm gonna say it's already a weekend. I'll explain why later. Anyway, I thought it would be neat to come make a little video as far as an update um, and then also to kind of recap the week and go over what I spent on like essentials versus non-essentials uh, and do like a little breakdown talk about what I have been doing um, to keep myself from spending money, my alternatives, um, and my plans for the future, this, that, and the other. Anyway, so like I said, we're one week in, um, and as far as like essential purchases and kind of one-offs that happen, um, like once every so many weeks or once every couple months, um, I have a couple of those that happened this week. Uh, the first one I talked about in my previous video, and that was to purchase gas. Um, that's roughly a week, week and a half kind of purchase. Um, I, mean, I spent $26 in gas um, this week. And then I bought um, air filters at Lowe's, uh, which was about $24. Now those are going to last me until August. Yeah, so I won't have to buy any more um, until August, which, um, so that's not something that, that's going to be like an ongoing expense this month. Um, I'm good for a while. Um, I also spent $44 having my dog Pepper groomed, uh, and she will not go back for another appointment for another like eight or nine weeks. Um, so again, that's kind of a, a one-off uh, thing that happens like every couple months. Uh, but that was $44. And then I spent $28.13 today on groceries. Now, that is roughly um, what I typically spend on groceries, give or take a little bit. Um, however, this week is a little bit of a fluke because that $28 includes um, about $8, 8 to $10 worth of um, food for the baby shower uh, that is coming up at work. Um, so that is on Tuesday. Uh, so I just went ahead and picked up the stuff while I was at the grocery store um, today. So that's a little bit different than normal um, because I you know, I don't normally buy things for a baby shower each week, um, obviously. Uh, so this week's a little different, but all things um, said and done, what I'm considering like my essentials purchases um, ended up being about $122.65 for the week. Um, again, that includes a couple things that aren't going to happen again for a couple months, um, but that is kind of like the essentials. Now for the non-essentials, I did have a couple of those as well. Um, the first is that I spent $2.40 on Amazon for some stairs for my dog Pepper to get on and off the couch more easily. Um, I did talk about that in my previous video as well. And I did end up uh, using some rebates from Fetch and um, Swagbucks uh, to pay for the majority of the Amazon purchase, but I ended up paying $2.40 out of pocket for those, which I'm counting as a win because, you know, $2.40 for a thing of dog steps, that should last a very long time, I didn't think was terrible at all. Um, the second um, of my like non-essentials pur purchases, and if you see me looking down, it's because I have written them out and I'm trying to keep that, to keep myself on track. Anyway, the second of those uh, non-essential purchases um, was I bought a pizza from Little Caesars um, for $2.14. There was a promo where I could get a large, like classic pepperoni for two bucks. Um, and I am going to be getting three meals out of that pizza. Um, so I thought it was very well worth the money. Um, especially I'm trying to cut down on eating out um, because that is one area that I spend a little bit more freely on. So I'm trying to do better with that. So even though I spent $2.14, I'm still counting that as a win because it was um, me able to um, get some something that I enjoy because I love pizza and also to um, stretch it out and make it last for a couple days. Um, so I'm counting it as a win. 
Um, I also, these are a little bit more, you know, I'm not as good at justifying these, but um, I spent $7.76 today at Bargain Hunt on candy. Um, candy is not essential. Um, I like candy and I like having it around. Um, and I've tried to work through my stash, so I was actually running pretty much out of what I had here at the house anyway. Um, so this should last me at least a couple weeks, um, maybe longer, because um, I'm trying my best to cut back on how much I'm eating of candy and those kinds of things. So that should last a while. Um, and then I also got a coffee and donut today at Dunkin' and spent $4. Today is National Donut Day, so happy National Donut Day um, to those who um, celebrate such a holiday. <laughs> and I hope you do because donuts are delicious. Um, so the donut was free. Um, all I paid for was the, the drink purchase. Um, and that was it. I, it's, it's been a week. And I've done really good this week. I have not you know, gone out and done a tremendous amount of things. Um, and I really, 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 really wanted the coffee today and a donut for later. Um, so I went ahead and did that. So the grand total of things that were not essential purchases for the week uh, was $16.30. Now, the whole purpose of this is to keep me from spending frivolously, and I think that I have done a very good job at, of that this week. Um, for example, um, a few weeks ago, I went out and got um, KFC one evening because I didn't feel like cooking, uh, which was about 9 to $10. I went to Chipotle, um, I think that same week, and you know, spent $9, $10 on food there on top of going out like to the Dollar Tree or Dollar General or somewhere like that and spending like 15, 10, 15 dollars. Um, so I think I've done wonderfully in that I have condensed <laughs> myself down to 16 dollars and 30 cents for the whole week. Um, to me that's a win um, because I'm, I'm not going out and spending 10 dollars here, 10 dollars here, 15, 16 dollars everywhere I've been able to kind of rein myself in. So I think I've done well so far. I do anticipate the coming weeks being harder um, because it's always easy to do something at first when you're very excited about it um, and everything. And I do think that I'm probably going to, um, it's gonna be a little harder to keep myself from going and doing, but I am determined. I'm gonna stick with this and see how well I do for the entire month. Um, as for what I have been doing instead of um, like going out spending, um, I have, let's see, let me, let me go back. So Monday I streamed, I live streamed um, playing Genshin Impact on Twitch. Um, I have not streamed a video game in several years. Um, so it was fun. That's something I want to get back into just for fun. There's there's no real point to it other than just I want to have fun. And um, so I, that was a great way to spend a Monday. Um, the other days I worked on my um, baby shower gift, uh, which I'm planning to do this weekend to try to finish it. Um, but um, crocheted, worked on my, my baby shower gift. Um, I worked my side job. Um, which I'm also planning to do this weekend. Um, so that that generally keeps me busy through the week for the most part. Um, I've started a couple new books. Um, I have been reading um, Daisy Jones and the Six, uh, which is a fabulous book. I highly recommend it. Um, if you have not read it or have been considering it, it's very good. It sucked me in immediately. Uh, so really enjoying that one, hoping to, to probably finish that up this weekend. I'm a little over halfway finished. Um, and then I started the audiobook of Killers of the Flower Moon today uh, while I was driving around doing errands. Um, that one's intriguing so far as well. I'm curious as to, to what the whole story is um, and to see how that one ends up. Uh, 
the Killers of the Flower Moon was on my uh, want to read list and so I'm excited to be able to listen to that one in the upcoming week and cross that one off my list um, but also I'm enjoying it so that's also fun um, and then tomorrow because tomorrow is Saturday I will be um, hanging around the house I have no plans to go anywhere um, just to keep myself from spending any more money um, but also because I need to finish this baby blanket that I'm making as a gift. Um, it, it's got to be done. Um, Tuesday is the shower. I got to get it done. Um, so that's definitely happening um, this weekend. Uh, and then also I need to mow my grass again. Um, I know I just talked about mowing it in my previous video last Friday, but it's been raining a lot. And so it's in need of being mowed again. Uh, so I plan to do that, which actually I need to go plug in the batteries to charge them for my mower. Um, anyway, you didn't need to know that, but now you know that, so feel privileged. Um, but that's on the agenda for the weekend, just hanging around here, um, taking care of some things, mowing, um, planning to play some more Genshin Impact uh, with my good friend um, who is on here as Crazy Cat Productions. So go check her out if you have not. Um, planning to do that um, and that's pretty much it. Um, Sunday will be uh, church and then kind of prepping for the upcoming week um, and I, I typically don't very very rarely go anywhere on Sundays other than just church and um, so yeah um, looking forward to a very low budget weekend. Um, excited to see how this experiment continues um, and yeah that's pretty much it um, so hopefully you guys have a great weekend as well um, enjoy National Donut Day uh, go celebrate however you see fit mostly eat a donut um, because donuts as I said are delicious so happy National Donut Day happy Friday happy weekend um, I will come back at some point next week to update you all on how it is going and where we are going moving forward. So have a great weekend and see you in the next video.